He sees you when you're online. He knows when you've logged off. He doesn't care if you've been bad or good, so build better ceilings for goodness sake, because Mr. Offline Raider is going to come through your roof and raid you for all you're worth. This is the fifth video in a series dedicated towards defending against raiders and explosives. In the first four videos we looked at various wall and door designs, and in this one, we finally get to look at ceilings. No matter how many layers your defensive wall may be, a raider always has the option of bypassing them completely and breaking in through your ceiling. Fortunately, there are effective ways to passively counter roof raiders. First, let's look at some ceiling basics. When you place a ceiling, you can only extend it four squares. Each row above or below that is reduced by one square, so the final pieces you can place looks like this. You can also use a hammer to look at building stability. The supported ceiling is at 100% stability, and each square away from that decreases by 20%. So if a ceiling is at 40% stability, then it can only support one more square because that square will only have 20% stability. You can place a wall on top of a 20% stability ceiling, but you can't place a ceiling extending off that wall. If you place a wall on top of a 40% stability ceiling, then you can extend one ceiling off of that wall, etc. To extend the range of your ceiling placement, you can place a support under it like a pillar. If you destroy the supporting piece, then the whole structure will collapse. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics, let's look at designs. I will only consider tier 3 structures for these numbers. A single ceiling can only withstand 7 explosives, but we can do way better. Place a foundation, then place a wall on top of it. Now, place another foundation next to the wall. You'll notice there are two placement options. Place the foundation higher than the first one, then repeat the process. You'll usually be able to place about 4 foundations this way. Why is this so special? because it allows us to layer four ceilings within a single square height. You can now extend each of the ceilings out as far as they'll go. Remember the basics we covered in the beginning? Well, each ceiling is tied to a single wall, so we can only extend them a certain distance away because we're losing stability. If a raider were to destroy that particular wall, then all the associated ceiling pieces would crumble, but we can counter that by adding more supports. Extend each ceiling to its maximum distance and then replicate the foundation wall combo. We can now cover the entire area with ceilings. This isn't a full base build, but it should spark some ideas on how you can incorporate this concept into your own base. You might prefer pillars over foundations. If you do, you can easily transfer this pattern over to pillars by extending out the ceilings and connecting them to the ground with pillars. I found that if you have trouble placing and connecting a pillar to the ground, then switch to a foundation piece, then switch back to the pillar and it should place just fine. The gaps between the ceilings can be covered up in different ways. I found that fences work well. It'll take two fences to cover four ceilings. Here's an example of how you can incorporate walls with this design. In the first video, we used fence foundations to place three walls within a single square. Use that same process now to build three walls on each side. Extend the outside wall first, build a ceiling, and then extend the middle wall. If you built the middle wall first, then you won't be able to place the ceiling. Repeat this on the opposite side. Then extend the ceiling across the entire structure. Also, remember from the first video that you can use fence foundations instead of walls, which offer more protection. So, you can have 5 layers of ceilings and 3 layers of fence foundations. It'll take 35 explosives to go through the roof and 27 explosives to go through the fence foundations. 
But let's say that's not enough defense for you. You can easily add layers to the ceiling by extending the initial walls. Add a wall layer to each of the original walls. Each time you add a new layer of walls, it'll add four more ceilings. So the next layout will add nine ceilings for a total explosive count of 54 explosives. Let's be sure that explosives don't penetrate more than one ceiling. Confirm. In the following videos, we will continue to look at ways to defend against explosives and raiders to include floors, hatch frames, and door placement strategies, and elevators. If you have any questions or comments, then please let me know down below. Also, if there are any specific video topics you'd like me to cover, then definitely let me know as well. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.